Good afternoon. How are we doing? It is chilly but sunny here in uh, southeastern England. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, yep, it is. Uh, it's not Monday, but I am trying to get into more routine of streaming regularly. Um, and thanks to the uh, awesome K of the double K yesterday, we are on the cusp of affiliate status, something I wasn't originally going to try for. Yeah, it was just one of those I would like to see how streaming went, and uh, the response has been good. And yet, we're almost there. Hello, Iman Economist. Hello, Photo Style. How are we doing? Um, yeah, it's it, it's it's been odd. This you know this kind of journey into to doing this more regularly. Uh, you said it on Blue Sky. <laughs> And it is appreciated. Monoconus, you have been just awesome at, you know, leading the charge on this one. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we are so close. So, so very close. Um, it, it's not easy to do. It's really not. And, you know, gathering momentum is tough, considering the amount of stuff that's out there. But nearly there. Nearly there. I think. I can't probably any wood around me. Um... So what we're going to do uh, this afternoon, uh, it's going to be another one of these kind of uh, tabletop board game and chat streams. So I've been, over the last few weeks, I've been looking for app versions of uh, tabletop board games. Um, so I've played Suro. I have played, um, what else have I played? I played Laws of Waterdeep last time, which obviously is a little bit trickier. What was the first thing I played? My brain is going blank. What did I play? Um... Should I look behind me and see what it might have been? Um, nope. I can't remember for the life of me what the first thing I played was. I could probably check my uh, Steam settings and have a look at what the heck I've got on here. Oh, Small World. I played Small World, didn't I? Uh, and that was good fun. It's finding the right balance on this one of things that can be played in about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so in that vein, I have decided to go for today... Quirkle. Now, there is not a Steam version of Quirkle. I had a look for this. However, I remembered the fact that actually I had it on iOS, and because I'm on a Mac, uh, they've started allowing you to use uh, iOS and iPadOS apps on your Mac. So let's see how this goes. It does seem to work. Um, so Quirkle is a lovely little game, and it's definitely, I would say, an entry-level game for those people who are uh, not um, big tabletop gamers. Um, it's also a very good family game. So I will show you this and see how it works. Why is it not liking my name? Dave, that's me. Start game. So, uh, how does this game work? Well, it's kind of scrabbly, but without letters. So essentially, you have symbols. So you can see my hand of tiles at the bottom. Uh, there are six different symbols and six different colours. You've got to put tiles down uh, in rows and columns and you get points uh, for each tile that you put down or each, you know, each tile in a row or column that you put down. And the only rules on this are a row or column has to either be of the same colour or it has to be the same shape. You cannot repeat a um, a tile in a row or column that basically limits each like continuous section to be six. Um, I'm going to sneeze in just a second. I'm going to mute myself for this so you don't get this. And then it doesn't happen. There we go. What do you know? Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So it limits the length of anything to six. And if you put the sixth tile down in a row or column you get a bonus six points, and that is called a Quirkle. So there is an element of strategy of this, of you want to build towards putting sixes down, but equally you don't want to leave an exposed row or column five down, because someone could just grab that and get a lot of points straight away. So let's see how this goes. So because I have the most token uh, that we played in one go, I have to go first, which is not actually a good thing, I would say. Uh, drag them onto the board. So there we go. Let's have that, that, and that. So I will get three points for that. Then they get two points for that. 
and they're putting down that, and it's two points for that. And now it is my turn again. So what can I do? Well, um, yeah, Quarto's nice. I've got that on my shelf somewhere. Uh, similar sort of mechanics, but different win game. I love Quarto. Quarto is a brain-breaking game. It really is. Uh, yeah, I know how to play. Um, so one of the things that's interesting about this is you get more points for trying to do sneaky bits that attach on the side and top of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there and that there, because that will get me one, two, three for the row of three purples and another two for that thing of crosses. Uh, so that gets me five points. They are going there. So they get two for that and three for the row they chucked on the top there. Um, what have I got? Well, I've got some more oranges here. They're unique ones. So this is really one of these make a decision type things. So if I chuck both of those down, I'm leaving it quite exposed for someone to complete the row of six. So that's a, a tactical decision I need to make on this one. Um, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to stick just this guy here. That gets me a shed load of points. It gets me four and four. Um, but I'm not going to put this one down yet. I could put it here, but that leaves that exposed. So I'm going to play it safe on this one. What we got? When I worked in a game store, a customer came in to buy Quarto. As she was paying, she asked if we played it before, and she said no. She opened up a box and set up a game and proceeded to teach us. Such an introduction, she just couldn't bear us not knowing. Um, now, I picked up Quarto at oh good grief okay um uh, i picked up quarto at uh tabletop scotland two years ago i played it i thought this is brilliant for those who don't know it's kind of like connect four um but you've got a variety of different features so it could be four tall ones for white pieces for hollow pieces and you're watching for so many different things it's really quite brain breaking but i the second i saw it i thought i have to buy this this is fantastic oh and the added bonus it's really nice you know aesthetically it's wooden pieces so it's a lovely lovely game is quarto um right so they managed to complete the quirkle of six crosses <laughs> that's frustrating uh so i'm still doing okay um, so what are we going to do here? Well, again, I'm going to hold off on that one because until I get the, what would the other piece be? The orange, orange what? What's the other piece? Oh, the orange, an orange star. And the three of each thing in the box. Um, I don't want to leave that too exposed, but it will get me a lot of points, but it is a heck of a gamble. What else could I do? I could do greens. I've got a few greens here I could put down and I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to stick them here and here, which again seems counterintuitive because the obvious thing you'd want to do if you played these sorts of games before is stick them in a long row of three, but that would get me three points. Whereas if I stick them here, it gets me two and two. That itchy nose. Oh, okay. So, tacking stuff. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Right. So, now we are talking because I can pop this guy. Couldn't you put the green cross beside the yellow cross? Yeah, I absolutely should have done that. Yep. You're 100% right. I should have stuck this piece here and got two, two, and two. This is what. <laughs> What's the downsides of playing a game? While monitoring chat at the same time. No, you're absolutely right. That was a stupid, stupid move. Ah, oh well. But at least I now get to do this. So I now get to drop this guy here. And this guy here. Which is going to get me six points there. And another three. And a bonus six for the Quirkle. So I feel a bit better about that pocket. Hey. I'd say, I mean, other than some slightly fuzzy writing, this scales really nicely, considering this is an, you know, like I said, it was originally an iOS app. They made an iPad version, and I'm playing it on my Mac. It looks pretty good. Oh, don't be silly. Don't be silly. I am, <laughs> like I'm playing competitive Quirkle. 
<laughs> no, you're absolutely right. And I've not played this for years. I genuinely haven't. This was one of my go-to games for, you know, playing on the train and stuff like that. Because it's nice and quick and it's a pretty good app. Um, I've not played it for years. So, no, my, my it wasn't the distraction, really. I'm making excuses. It's more the fact that I just haven't played this for a while. <laughs> Okay, what have I got here? I've got some more green pieces that I could pop down in interesting ways. I've also got some yellow pieces that I could attach to the star up there. Um, what would be the best thing to do? Yellows. Yellows is a good shout. So I could, I mean, I could do this. That's not bad. Near the cross, near the cross, near the cross. What down here? So how would you want to do this? Um, undo. Oh, you got it there. Right. Yeah. How would I... What, down here? Green cross to the left of the yellow cross. Uh, I'm sorry, my brain has stopped working. Green cross to the left of... The, oh, what, that one there? Yeah, I think let's... Let's... So if I undo the... No, I can't do that there that's a repeat but I could go there what's the best way to get a shed load of points I think the best way to get a load of points from this one if I chuck that I can't even do that ah there's already one of them in there that seemed like a great idea uh, I'm gonna do the thing I did before it's not the best thing to do but it's uh... yeah I'm just gonna do this because my brain is not seeing what you're seeing and I'm sorry I'm tired Uh, what do we got? What else we got? So I've got a few reds here. And there's not really not a lot of red on the board here. Um, are there any close to Quirkle? So that's getting close to a Quirkle. These are... Dipping around this sort of area. Um, 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 um. Anything exciting I can do here? I mean, not really. Um... I think maybe I'm playing some reds, I think is the way to go here. So where's the best place I can tack on a red to something on this one? So uh, I've got crosses, I've got diamonds, I've got squares. What am I looking for? Start a new line of the crosses of purple. Uh, of, a new line of crosses on the purple. Maybe, 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 maybe. Red diamond next to the red cross. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, that gets me... That gets me five points. I do like that. And it it's a little move, but it's... It does leave exposed a blue cross to drop in there, which is a gamble. But let's sod it. Let's do it. You know, playing safe is boring sometimes. Is someone just going to drop in the blue diamond in there? Not yet. Uh, nope. Okay, right. I've got three circles on here, which is pretty cool. So I could do... I could attach something to here. So I could do, like, that, that. Or I could do my own thing. Hang on. If I do... Let's do, like, that, that, that. That gets me six. That's not bad. It's not brilliant, but I'm in the lead, so I'm okay. Not doing maybe, not necessarily the greatest tactical move ever. Oh, good for them. Damn. Nice, 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 nice. Feels like Xbox advertising. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. Um, right, what else, what else, what else? So we've got two crosses that could add to the kind of massive cross, or oh, X's rather, that I could add to the massive X's up here. What else, I've got yellows, I can't, if I hold on to this guy though, I'm getting close to a Quirkle here. So I think don't play this guy if I can avoid it. So well, let's look at the reds then. Oh, I've got uh, that and I've got that. Um, is there somewhere I could sneak those on to be something that gets me a, an exciting amount of points? I mean, it's not going to be an exciting amount of points, it's going to be some points. Uh, I can use loads of bloody red X's on this one, but I can't even sneak that in there. Um, this is boring. Uh, I think I'm going to see a boring move. 
I think, yeah, I'm going to do a boring move and slap this. No, that's the one I want to keep. Ah, that's the one I want to keep. So if I'm going to play any of these, I've got to play this guy. Uh, and there's nowhere for me to, to put it. Oh, that's annoying. So it's got to be the reds ones, really. Um, or actually, I could do this. That's four points. That's not sad. Let's do that. You do have the option on your turn. Technically, you can return all your tiles and get brand new tiles. But uh, it's basically never a good idea. You know, because getting some points is better than no points. Um, right, 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 right. Anything interesting going on here? Greens. I do not have the correct greens to complete that. Um, I've got that and a cross. I'm, this is the guy I'm trying to hold on to until something exciting happens. Uh, mum, 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 mum. Do, 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 do. This is just going to be me making hesitation, consideration, singing noises. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> he says that returning tiles is never a good idea, and yet I'm not seeing a great option here. I don't want to return tiles, because that's it, it, it's just not a good move. Squares from the purple on the right. Oh, what, that? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good shout. Like that. Love that. Six points for two, two, and two. Good shout. Though we have... We haven't prevented the Quirkle. In fact, actually, we've improved the Quirkle potential here. If I get the yellow square, I can go put my yellow cross there. My yellow X rather there, and then a yellow square there. So it makes it all the more appealing, if that's possible. But we'll see if that happens. Right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So we've got uh, our new ones of these guys, which, I mean, that's that's not a bad move. Low points, but it's it's not a bad move. Uh, that's not terribly low points. It's five points. It, 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 it's a low number of tiles to play. I'm mean, going to get more than five points. Oh, I'll do something off of this. There we go. If I do that, 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 that's all right. I almost thought I could tack something on here, but it doesn't quite work. Um, yeah, I think that'll do. Six points for that. I'll have that. Oh, the Quirkle is now blocked. Oh, and they've just smashed that. Well, good for them. What's the missing piece of this one? It's this guy. It's this guy. Well, that's an easy move. Blue Quirkle. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, what else have we got going on here? So the yellow Quirkle is no longer happening. I mean, I can just slap the that one there and get five points, which is not a terrible move. It's really not. Uh, it's not as exciting as it could have been, but it's not terrible. Um, is there anything better we can do? I mean, I put a red circle there for four. That's not exciting. Uh, what about the diamonds? Right. Um... Kind of a boring move, but I think I'm going to just get... Oh, oh, I could do something here. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can stick a red circle there. That's just four points. Um, diamonds. I do have two diamonds. Is there anything exciting going on in the world of diamonds? Mm -hmm. uh, green and yellow. Green and yellow. Diamonds. I mean, I could tack it onto there. I think I'm just going to do the boring thing. Boring move. Okay, so they're doing all right. That's nice. Right, I've got three diamonds now. I feel like we should be close to doing something exciting here. Um, is there something exciting I can do with these diamonds? Um, is there a diamond or a red or something I could hang them off of? I could stick them here. Um, I could... What could I do? 
Um, <laughs> those who just joined, you get me humming and looking at a board. Pensive sounds. I. It's a boring option, but I feel me doing stuff is, is more interesting than me not doing stuff. Because uh, there is a limit. Diamonds are forever. I can't for life of me remember much of the plot of that film. Uh, um, no. I really can't remember much. I mean, obviously, I remember the, like, the Shirley Bassey theme tune, but I cannot for life of me remember the plot of Diamonds are Forever. Did it come out around the same sort of time as Moonraker? Moonraker, when Bond really started getting very silly with Roger Moore. Um... Um... Thank you for attempting re-entry, sir. Yes, when the double entendre with this kind of single smutty entendres, there was no double that. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. We're just going through all oh, the diamond song that we know. Right, let's look. So purples. We can't get a purple quirkle there. I've got three purples. <laughs> Never got that either. Um, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Which apparently is not a euphemism for LSD, despite that it clearly freaking is. Um, right, what can we do here? What What if... Ah, now this is some nice points. What if I do that, that, and that? Three and a four to make seven. That's pretty good. There's only 14 tiles left in the box. Now, I can't remember the rules of this one. I can't remember if this is a... When you get to the end, you lose points for the number of tiles you've got left. Or if it's you just get like a bonus six for the first person to finish. I think it's a bonus six for the for the first person who finishes, I think. Right, circles at the top right. Yeah, that's a good shout. I like that. So what I can do. Where? What up here? So I could do. I mean I could do a blue hanging off of there and go up to there. I can't quite because I don't have a purple circle, sadly. Uh, and I can't quite... I feel I should be able to do a Quirkle. With four freaking tiles of a type, you feel you should be able to do a Quirkle. I mean, I could leave an exposed Quirkle up here. But, you know, never expose your Quirkle in public. Um, I think... I think an orange off of here. And I'm just going to go up this way. How am I doing? 96. I am in the lead. I mean, don't never take that for granted, but, uh... That is... I'm very close to a purple quirkle at the top left. I'm not, and there's only one tile left, so it's ridiculous to try and hold on to pieces. It's just about getting points at this stage. So I am just going to, unless I see a better option, I'm just going to chuck three purples up the top here. Let's just say it's like I can do diamonds. Is this like I can do diamonds? I mean, I could lay... No. no let's, do uh, let's just do that. Oh! Do I get more if I do this in a silly way? Maybe I get more if I do it in a slightly silly way. If I... Hang on. If I do put three across the top, I get four and three. If I stick it there, I get three, three, and two. That's better. In fact, if I go here... Aha! If I go here... I get three, two, and two. So it's five at seven. No, I was better off with the thing I suggested before. Three. What was I going to do before? So that's three. Oh, no, that doesn't get me the points. I think it does. Because I've forgotten how maths works. That's better. Do that. Broken 100 points. Um, maybe I already had. What have we got here? So I think it's a bonus six points for the first person who finishes rather than penalising the tiles left over. So, I, do, I mean, either way, you want to try and get rid of all your tiles. Right, so two crosses is what I want to get rid of here, and I'm going to chuck them up here for many points. Um, or, or some points. That's nice. And now I've got two reds, which I should be able to just drop down on the next move. Am I in 2D mode or 3D mode? I think there is a way to go kind of 3D in turn mode. 
Uh, right, and I'm going to finish here. I mean, it almost doesn't matter what I finish. Let's go here and here. All right. For 121, use all your tiles, bonus six. Hey, Dave won the game. And for those of you who played the game, you just lost the game. Uh, <laughs> hello, hello, lurking people. Um, hope you are having a great day. Um, we are on the verge, maybe, of affiliate here. So, you know, feel free to, uh, to chat. Uh, but you being here is just amazing uh, because I think we're almost it. Right, I think we have time. I've got 20 minutes. So let's try a quick game of me versus a hard level opponent and see how it goes. Can I play in 20 minutes and how crushed do I get in this? Let's see how it goes. Right, it's me again, apparently. So I'm going to drop these two tiles. It's one of these games where actually going first, I find it actually be a disadvantage because you, if you're the second player, you're always adding on to someone else's stuff. But going first, you don't really get a lot for it. Um, right, so I've got some blues here, so I'm going to tack that onto that. Um, that's very nice, very nice. What have I got here? I've got lots of crosses, but some of them are the same colour, which is not terribly helpful, to be honest. Um, so let's go with that and that. For those who have just joined, we're playing Quirkle, uh, which is a wonderful, a more visual kind of scrabbly type game. You get points for putting rows and columns down. Only condition is that you can't have the same symbol or the same colour in the same row or column. So basically everything is six long at a maximum. And if you play the sixth tile down, you get a bonus six points, and that is called a Quirkle. Uh, it's quite a nice game. It look, doesn't look as nice on this as some of the other games I've played because this is actually an iOS, iPad OS game that I'm playing on my Mac, which uh, Macs let you do now, which is fun. Right, let's uh, chuck that there and that there. Red X, or is that too risky? Um, It's not terrible. What, chucking it there? So that would get me... Now, nah, let's do that. Sorry, I'm playing it. I mean... I'm only playing against one opponent, so the amount of unknown stuff is limited, uh, which is good. Um, now, if they've got stuff, they've got stuff. There's nothing I can do about that, but you can't be, you can't hold back the whole time. Right, now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put this star down, because that is leaving me a beard exposed on this one. Um, what would I need? I need a cross. He says that, and then it, he's totally, I'm totally thinking about doing it. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go here and here and hope for the red cross to come up. Not the red cross in the organisation. And there it is. There it is. Quirkle on the next turn. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, that's going there and that's going there for a freaking Quirkle. There we go. Takes the lead. Right. Thinking ahead to the next move, what do we got? We've got some blue stuff. I can't really attach to that other row of blue stuff, which is a shame. But I could tack it on there. Uh, or I could tack it on the top there, which is better, which is better, which is better. I'm going up here. Why not? Um, right. Uh, so we've got some diamonds, we've got some diamonds, 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 uh, blue and yellow. I can't quite mix it into this bit here, which is a shame. Um, I've got some circles, I've got an orange circle, that's cool. I think I'm tacking it up here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. I've got lots of circles now, two of which brings me close to a quirkle. So if I hang on to them, what's the other one I need? I would need the green, a green circle. There's only one been placed. There's two more in the deck. Oh, in the stack, rather. So I could, I'll hold fire on them. I could play reds and attach them to here. I could play crosses and attach them to here. Again, very close to a quirkle. Um... Um, so I'm going to go with the reds because I'm getting close to two quirkles. 
with crosses or circles. Um, oh, okay, so that's not what I... Huh. Interesting. So the purple's gone. I still need the green circle. I can't do it. Crosses, crosses, crosses. I mean, I could put the yellow one down and burn some chance of that. No, yeah, that's not great. Now the question is, how, how long do I hold off on this? Um, because I, I don't want to just not... He doesn't have a green... Or does he? Maybe he's doing the same thinking I'm doing. Oh, damn it. Let's just take a risk. No, I can't. Hang on, what? I can't even really take a big risk on this one. I mean, I can stick that there and that there. Sod it. I don't have a huge amount of time left on this stream, so let's stop messing around and just play. Uh, I've got lots of purples. Do I have the right purples? I do have the right purples. Look at that. That's cool. Do I have anything of a quirkling sort of nature? Still don't have that red, uh, that green circle, rather. Uh, I've got, how do I have all of the yellow crosses? That is weird. Let's, is there any way to play one of them and get some of this crap out of my hand? Um, 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 play those there. That's not bad. Let's do that. How many people do we have about? We have two viewers. Oh, if there's anyone else who's about, that would be cool because I'm trying to make sure that my average number of viewers is above three to get me closer and closer to maybe getting this affiliate in the next couple of days. Maybe today, we'll see how we go. Uh, if you are lurking, please say hello. If uh, you know, your friends you want to invite, that would be grand because it's so close, so close to affiliate. So close. Um, um, right, what do we got here? Let's I'll get some of this chaff from my hand, frankly, because there's just a lot of it. So let's stick some. Let's just do something to get rid of some stuff from my hand. I'm still in the lead, just. Um, right, what have we got here? So we've got yellow cross, yellow X. Um, still no sign of that elusive green circle. Um, I could stick, I mean, I could stick this here. That's four points. Four points is not sad. Still in the lead, just. They've done a very similar move there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what would I do with the yellows? I could stick that there and that there. That gets me another five points. Right. Um, okay, now we've, interesting, we've blocked off a bit at the top, so if we, one of us does get the green circle, it has to go at the bottom now. Yeah, interesting that neither of us have got it so far. So let, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think purples, 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 maybe yellows. I mean, I can, if I just add to this yellows, this massive yellows, that's a, that's a nice amount of points, isn't it? Three, three, and two. It's not exactly a, uh, a high scoring game, this, but uh, it's just, you know, making little gains, little gains. Um... So I've got a lot of crosses now. A lot of X's, rather. Why do I keep calling them crosses? Um, where could I put them that might get me a nice bonus? Ooh, Quirkle. You see, you're saying Quirkle. What's the Quirkle? Is it the greens? Is it a green Quirkle? Uh, greens. The green circle. The green circle. The elusive green circle. I spent so long bloody talking about it and then didn't spot it when I got it. A Quirkle with a little bonus. There we go. Workle with a row of two chasing. You can tell I'm tired, can't you? I jabber on about this thing for a while, and then the second it actually happens, I forget about it. <laughs> right, I could stick these up here. It leaves an exposed quirkle. 
um, but it does get me points. We've got 39 tiles left in the box, so that's... Oops. Maybe I'll just stick it up here. What's the piece? I don't... If, I'm, if I don't play it, I only want to hang on to this for a while, so maybe I'll just play the oranges if I can. Let's tack on... Oh, that's good. That's a nice little move. Let's do that. And I keep that blue X back for the next circle. For the next quirkle. Yeah, you really can tell I'm tired. I'm talking absolute nonsense. Not that, you know, I'm talking a huge amount of sense most of the time anyway. Um, what do we got? What do we got? So we don't want to play that guy yet. We have got, I mean, three purple things, which we could chuck up there for seven points. That's not terrible. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's do that. Oh, okay, so he's played that. And I've got the red one to get the quirk. No. No, what do I need? I need a... What the hell do I need? A blue... What? A blue... Starry thing. Don't have a blue starry thing. I could just tack on some stuff onto this to get me some points, which is always fun. Um, what I could do... No, I, couldn't. I was trying to think I could quirkle block, and I can't quirkle block on that one. Um... I think let's just let's just get some points. Let's just get some points because I'm short on time. I'm still kind of comfortably in the lead, he says, hoping he doesn't jinx this. Um, what do we got on here? So we've got two starry things, not the starry thing I wanted, not the blue starry thing. Um, can't quite get a Quirkle down here, but I could leave an exposed Quirkle if I wanted to. Um, because that feels like a gamble. I've got squares, I've got two squares that I could maybe tack onto something squarish. Let's do that. And I'll hold on to the green thing waiting for the yellow one if it's going to show up. X's here, um, but not, I mean, I could leave, get some points and some X's and uh, leaves potentially exposed, is it an exposed Quirkle? No, it wouldn't be an exposed Quirkle. Let's just do it, let's just get some points. I mean, I could leave it there and get an exposed Quirkle, what would that be? That would be the yellow X, which they've all been played, actually they've all been played. So there is no purple to be got there. Because there's three of them, three of everything in the deck, and there's one there, one there, one there. So that is not an exposed quirkle. We've got some more purples. We've got stars, but again, I don't have the yellow star. And there's two left in the deck. Um... So I could play purples or oranges, I think. Let's go... Purples, maybe? Let's tack some purples onto this. No, if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to do it with that, I'll do that at the top up here. Oh, if I went there, i block. What, what do I need for that blue one? What is it? Oh, it's the blue star. There's one there, there's one there. There is one left in the deck. If I go here, I do stop him from stealing that. Which is a dick move. But given the fact I'm in the lead, I think I'm going to do it. And now, here it comes. I'm totally going to draw it, aren't I? No, I didn't draw it. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Right, what do we got here? Still no yellow star. So let's go for crosses. Exposed, exposed Quirkle. Exposed Quirkle, maybe Exposed Quirkle. Let's go for... Let's leave. What would the Quirkle be? That'd be a red uh, X. There's one there. Oh, they're, they're gone. It's fine. It's safe.
Um, so I could play squares with them. Uh, red one gets there, leaves an exposed Quirkle. Um, what would be the final piece of that? That would be a blue square. And there is one that's been played. That's a gamble. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. There's not many tiles left in the deck. I think that's a stupid move. Uh, so, oh, but it does limit my options if I don't do it. Because I'm going to start actually sharpening myself on points to avoid putting quirkles there, possible quirkles down. That's not a great move doing that. So what what if I just if I stick that there? Yeah, let's do that. Oh I got the uh blue one and red one. So I did it. I did it. Yay. Work all And, oh, that, that Quirkle's off the table now. I didn't even spot that had gone. And I've got the bloody piece now. I've got the piece and it's off the table. Well, that sucks. But, you yeah, know, I did the same, dude. So that's fair. What are you going to do about it? Because I now can't play the thing. But that's that's all right, isn't it? Um, let's just let me tack them onto here. Yeah, there's not a lot. I just need to get rid of pieces, is what I need to do. I just need to get rid of pieces and win this damn thing. So let's just win this damn thing. Right, I've got diamonds. I need to get rid of because they're going to be a pain to get rid of at the end. Um. Is there anything that's looking remotely quirkalish? Not that I see. I mean, that's, not, that's a good move. I've got two of these guys, and one of them gets me seven points. I like that. Okay, what am I going to get rid of now? Um, oh, we're out of tiles in the deck, so let's just get some points off those reds, I think. Um, what's the best way that gets me... Um, a nice amount of points. I mean, it's probably just tacking two onto up here to get two and two, isn't it? I think so, or a similar thing up here. That's kind of all it is. Isn't it? I just need to get rid of these tiles. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to do any clever stuff with these remaining three, because they're all different colours and different shapes, but I'll just try and get the most points I can. Um, and um, hopefully he doesn't have any... If he doesn't have any more pairs, I'm going to... I'm going to finish this first, which is good. Um, so let's do that there. That's nice. Now, if we don't play a pair, I might be safe. Yay! Yay! We like this. We like this. Um, just got to find places I can play some of this stuff. Um, so... Oh, no, what was that? I saw something great there. I can do that. No, I can't play there. Uh, that, that, that's good. That's what I want. That's what we want. And then we play a yellow tile to... I mean, it doesn't really matter, is it? Unless, oh, that's good. There we go. There we go. And a very... Well, it was a satisfying score, and then it became 206. That was easier than I thought. Um, I thought that was going to be a lot harder. But okay. Um, right, so that's about us on time. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, especially Imon Economist. You are an absolute legend. Um... We'll see. We'll see whether we get affiliate from there. I mean, I think it's going to be soon. It's going to be soon. Um, it, um, it's so close. It's so close. I can almost taste it. But we will uh, see how we get on with that. You know. But you know, you are all being absolute freaking legends. You really are. I go sleep now. Um, yes, sleeping is important. Definitely do that. Um, 
as always, check me out the usual places. Um, I'm DC Bradshaw, basically everywhere except for Curious Penguin on Twitter, and DC Bradshaw RPG on Patreon and Ko-Fi. Um, you know, um, Little Bit Fierce is almost a big milestone as well. It is almost a gold bestseller on Drive Through RPG. So if you uh, are a D and D player or know people that do, and you want to play that game with your kids you know i made a version of it that lets you just do that enjoy the rest of the day and you well enjoy your sleep sleeping is important um have a a wonderful sleep because <laughs> it's important to everyone else having a wonderful day i'm gonna see about raiding cypher of tear again because uh she's streaming at exactly the right time again um have a great day and a great sleep and i'll speak to you all very soon cheers